Hello again. In this video we will be discussing Wintex Operation Log. The Operations Log is a tool that can be integrated into your project to track the user inputs. So let's get started. In the interest of time I went ahead and made a little project. Uh, the first thing you need to do to enable the operations log is go to the data history tab and click on operation log settings and uh, enable the operations log. Now by default all of the objects that are in the project are populated in this dialog right here and you can uh, select the objects that you want to track the usage of. In this instance I'm, I've only got the objects on page 10 here selected for the purposes of this video but you can select or deselect all. Uh, you can choose where the operation log resides um, either on the SD card or USB or don't check either and it will store it in the local HMI memory. You can define the maximum number of records that it stores. And then of course you've got a control address. Uh, I've selected LW0 and uh, there's a little link right here and this will show you what the um, what the actual commands are and then um, uh, the next word after your command word will be your status word and this will display what's going on at the time so um, what I've done is I've created a uh, word set button and I'm writing a 1 into LW0 just to clear all records but as you can see you can sync it to a USB or SD card or uh, do these other functions here. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, click OK. Now um, we also have a um, operation logs view and uh, that's what this object here is. It's a lot like your uh, data history view. You have a uh, title tab and you can define what uh, data is displayed and the order that is displayed in here uh, much the same as your uh, data history. Um, I've just got the action comment. Um, I took out the object name and I'll show you what that is here in a minute and the actual window. Uh, I left in the class and username. Within each object, you can actually uh, give it a comment up here, and um, and so you can give it a, uh, a more logical name to show up in your uh, operations log. Under the security tab, if you have the operations log available, this checkbox will show up in each object dialog and you can include or exclude it from right here as you build your project. If you have um, your security set up, as I do, I've got, uh, I've got two users enabled plus our admin. So whoever's logged in at the time uh, will show on the user right here or if nobody's logged in that will just be blank. Um, here are the four keys uh, that I've got defined on the window as well as um, uh, this word set and the uh, and a function key for logging in. So uh, let's go ahead and run a simulation. And 
uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, re reset our log here. So it shows the um, action taken and the comment of the object. If you'll see here, I've given the object a comment so we can give it a real name. Shows the comment. So I'm going to go ahead and log in. And here you can see now it displays the username and the security level. I'm sure you can imagine many places you would use this feature. It doesn't always have to be available to the to all the users but um, it's a really nice uh, feature to have to make sure that if something goes wrong with your system it's not a problem with the system it's maybe just user error or something like that so uh, it's always a good idea to be able to track this data and that's about all there is to it thanks for watching and be sure to come back and see more of our instructional videos